look, I saw a picture and, and this picture is somebody who's 100 pounds overweight and it says they're healthy. This is the new healthy. I choose to follow that picture. Why would I listen to Coach Greg and the... Coach Greg and breaking news for you. Being fat isn't healthy. You're like, yeah, I knew that. But in fact, you didn't know that because there's been a trend lately that people think you can be fit and fat at the same time. That the new look is, it doesn't matter how you look. It doesn't matter! So long as you're active, that you're healthy, okay? That this is healthy. You know, someone who's 100 pounds overweight, they run every day and they're active and it's, it's healthy. Sorry, it's not telling you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. What you want to hear is you can eat anything you want so long as you're active and you're healthy. Recent research has come out showing this is not the case at all. I'm going to go over the data. I'm going to explain it so that you understand that just because you're active doesn't mean that you're fit. Sorry, it doesn't mean this. Research analyzed over 500,000 participants in an observational study. So yeah, you could say it's not like cause and effect. I don't know, whatever. It wasn't randomized. It wasn't a meta-analysis. Yeah, whatever. If you want to live in imagination land and ignore this data, then that's on you. You want to say, yeah, I'm 100 pounds of weight, but I go for a walk every day. I'm healthy. I'm going to live to be 100. If you want to think that, that's fine. I'm here to say, on average, if you're overweight, it means you're not healthy, even if you're active. We all want to be that person, that outlier, that, that doesn't apply to me. It's same with PD use. Oh, I'm in the Mr. Olympia and I'm on PDs, but I train hard, I exercise, so I'm not going to die young. I'm not being hypocritical. I've abused PDs in the past and I know there's a good chance that that can have a negative effect on my health. So I'm not here to say, oh, I'm immune to it and don't worry about it. It's like, no, really think about what you're doing. So let's go over the study. Let's go over the analysis. So I'm looking at a report from CNN. It says, fat but fit is a myth when it comes to heart health, new study shows. This means that you can't just exercise and be overweight and think that you're as healthy as if you were leaner. It's not the case. I'm sorry to break it to you. You need to lose the weight to be as healthy as possible. Of course, we're all going to think that we're that special case. It's not going to happen to us. It's like unprotected sex. Yeah, yeah, I'm not going to catch anything. No, I'm not going to get that person break. No, no, it won't happen to me. We all think that. But we need to stop thinking this way. If you're overweight, even if you're active, chances are you're not as healthy as even if you're a couch potato and not active. One cannot be fat but healthy. This was the first nationwide analysis to show that being regularly active is not likely to eliminate the detrimental health effects of excess body fat. So the problem is people have been brainwashed or misled into thinking that as long as you're active, it's okay, you're healthy. But in reality, you need to lose the weight, okay? It's obviously a combination of weight loss and exercise to make the healthiest person possible. But what we need to do is stop pretending that people who are obese are in fact healthy because for the most part, even if they're exercising, studies have shown they are not in fact healthy. Uh, sorry, I know it sucks. I know you want to have that picture of that 300 pound person and say, this is healthy, but it's not. I'm sorry. I, I, I can't break it to you any different. Let's look at the actual study to see why this is the case. As you can see, these three circles represent different health markers for health. I know circles pretty cool, right? These three circles represent cholesterol, diabetes, hypertension, things that are related to, you know, living a long time and being healthy. And in the first example, this is a person of normal weight. So they're at their healthy weight. You can see if they're insufficiently active, what that means is they're a little bit active, but not enough. Their odds goes up a little bit. And if they're completely inactive, as in a couch potato, but they're of a healthy weight, they're still pretty healthy. It's not as good, but it's not bad. It's not even at a two. So not too bad. So if you're of a normal weight, whether you're active or not, studies here are showing that you're still pretty healthy overall, according to these markers. Let's now look at if you're overweight. If you're overweight and active, you see the three circles? 
Notice those circles are not at one, they're higher than one. And that's despite being very active. Insufficiently active and inactive, as you can see, the circles are starting to rise. The odds are not as good. You're not as healthy. Now watch this when you're obese. What happens when you're obese? Look how high those numbers are going. Some of the numbers are approaching seven. This is not good. So if you compare an inactive person of normal weight to an active person who's obese, you can clearly see that it's healthier for the person to be of normal weight, even if they're a couch potato. I know it sucks, it sucks. Now trust me, I'm not trying to make fun of people who are overweight, I'm not trying to tease them, I'm not trying to put them down, trust me. Of anyone on YouTube, does anyone understand that this is the fault of genetics more than anything else? You're born with shitty genetics. You chose the wrong parents. I didn't. You did. You chose the wrong parents. Your parents gave you genetics that you're going to be overweight. But the sad truth is this is going to impact your health. I don't make the rules. I never decided that if you're overweight, you're going to have high cholesterol, diabetes, or hypertension. No, I didn't do that. It's just a matter of fact. Over 500,000 people in the study. And yeah, I get it. It's a randomized trial. It's an observational study, but it's, it's over 500,000 people. Oh, it's not a meta-analysis. Well, it's over 500,000 people, and this is what we're seeing. Is it 100% irrefutable proof? No, it's not. But if you want to like sit down and live in imagination land with Peter Pan... You can do that if you want, and let's just ignore this. Yeah, I choose to ignore 500,000 people's results. I'm just going to be obese and eat whatever I want, not put the fork down, not eat low-calorie dense foods. Why would I do that? Because, look, I saw a picture, and, and this picture is somebody who's 100 pounds overweight, and it says they're healthy. This is the new healthy. I choose to follow that picture. Why would I listen to Coach Greg and the 500,000 people in that study? I'm asking you why. Because it's easier to self-justify eating and being overweight. Now listen, I know it's hard to lose weight. It's hard to put the fork down. You're starving. You know one thing that can help? My friggin' cookbook, you know it can help. Low calorie dense food, cookbook one, over 2,500 testimonials changed their lives, lost weight, kept it off. Cookbook two, it's even better. If you can't lose weight and if you don't have reason enough to lose weight by now, how about your health, your life? Is it worth losing weight? Is it worth getting a cookbook? Is it worth trying to eat less calories and being in a deficit and do all the right things to lose weight? Maybe, I mean, there's only 500 plus thousand people in the study. So if you want to ignore all that and live in imagination land, well, that's on you. Just like if you want to choose to abuse PDs, take Tren every single day, high doses, oh, what? I'm active. I lift weights. I go to the gym. It won't happen to me. Be my guest. I'm warning you, you might get a heart attack. You might die an early death. You might have kidney failure, but... That's the risk you choose to do. If you want to choose with ignorance, you know, ignorance is bliss. Uh, don't tell me about that. No, I don't want to get blood work. Why would I want to know that I'm slowly killing myself? I don't want to know that. Why would I get my blood pressure taken? I don't want to know I have hypertension. I don't want to know about my cholesterol. I don't want to know if I'm developing diabetes. That, I, that all sucks. I'm not going to the doctor. Don't tell me. Does that make sense? Ending it here, leaving it up for you to decide. GregDuset.com for coaching. Greg Duset IB Pro. Blooping up two videos. Be sure to buy one. And maybe buy my freaking cookbook if you want to lose weight. Or don't. Whatever. Follow me on TikTok, Instagram. Do all kinds of fun stuff. And until next time, I am out.